It's not hard to find someone who suffers from asthma here in the valley. Many children who live here are struggling to breathe. The first step in helping children with asthma breathe easier is to learn more about the disease. Today, we're taking a look at how to protect those little ones. Okay, blow. Keep it there, keep it, keep it, Dustin, doing good. Five-year-old Dustin Mello is at Community Medical Center's Early Childhood Asthma Program in Fresno, serving children five years and younger. New machines at the Asthma Specialty Clinic allow for testing that measure the level of asthma control and determine what is triggering his asthma in order to minimize the symptoms that can make him miserable. Different things is like he has a runny nose, he'll get a runny nose, really congested, um, gag reflex. Just over 19% of children 0 to 18 years old in Fresno, Madera, and Tulare counties have been diagnosed with asthma. That's nearly one in five children, and it's higher than the state average of 15.7%. A team of specialists is working with Dustin and his mom, Jacqueline, to help manage his asthma. Dr. Marys Joseph says it's important to get a diagnosis as early as possible. When the asthma symptoms happen, that's just the tip of the iceberg. The inflammation is ongoing on a daily basis. So by taking the controllers daily, the inflammation is being checked. And it's very important in young children because if they don't do this, it can result in irreversible lung damage. Asthma is a chronic lung disease that inflames and narrows the airways. There is no cure. It is important to become familiar with the symptoms of asthma. Knowing the signs may help you prevent an asthma attack. A cough, shortness of breath, chest tightness, or wheezing. The symptoms tend to occur, um, come and go, means it's recurrent, uh, and also they get worse at night and on exertion. Always dispense it in an upright fashion. You don't want to do it at an angle. Patty so Burton is ready. also a part of Dustin's team. And she is an asthma is educator with Community Medical Centers, empowering families by helping them understand asthma. For example, she says you can look for the following signs in small children who are not able to communicate. So the parents might see some retractions, uh, the ribs kind of sinking, the muscles between the ribs sinking in. Um, small children, because their airways are so small, they're, um, when they breathe in, they're really struggling, so their nose will what we call flare, where they're, they're really air hungry. Another important intervention piece is called the environmental assessment. Trained experts will visit the home of the asthmatic child, working with the parent to find and eliminate triggers. Every person will have different triggers. The most common, especially here in the San Joaquin Valley, are viral infections such as the common cold or flu, secondhand smoke, pollution, and weather. Weather changes is another huge trigger because, you know, it, we're hot one day, cold the next, or, or vice versa, or the wind may kick up and blow something. And that's our biggest third trigger is the pollens and allergies. Um, again, we have a huge agricultural area here in the Central Valley. There's pollen nearly 12 months out of the year, so you can't really get away from it. These days, Dustin is able to fit right in with his fellow kindergartners at Valley Arts and Science Academy in Fresno, which goes to show parent education and proper management can make a big difference in the life of an asthmatic child. Actually, too, they give me information. They given me information on how to give the pump properly to him, and so um, before I didn't know. I just thought, you know, spray, give it to him, and but it's different, you have to take it off and just different little things that are necessary for him, for his asthma to be controlled. Take a big deep breath, just like that. I didn't know that all the information that they've given me, you know, and I just, I'm really thankful to them because it has really helped and I'm seeing the, you know, a difference in his asthma. Partner with your doctor to develop an asthma action plan. This plan will help you properly take your medicines, identify your asthma triggers, use a peak flow meter to measure and record how well your lungs are working, and manage your disease if asthma symptoms worsen. 
the whole idea of treating asthma properly is to have the child a near normal or even normal life quality quality of life so no child should asthma should limit activities or not take part in pe in school the aim is that they should be able to do everything to find out more about the early childhood asthma program funded by first five fresno county call 459-3554 and if you live in the South Valley, call Korea Delta's Asthma Outreach Project. That number is 624-2000. This program funded in part by First Five Fresno County. At First Five, we focus on the first five years of life. We fund programs and services that better the lives of children in Fresno County. Additional funding from First Five Tulare County. Changing lives and building futures. Because it's all about the kids. And First Five Madera County. Strengthening communities through the Family Resource Centers. Where it's all about the kids. <laughs> 